This episode of Cheaters. They're talking to a couple of guys in front of the fountains at the Paris. You know what this is? How can I was, you can't even you? face me for five you. seconds? What's the matter with you? Why are you doing this if you don't want me? If you weren't cheating, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. You can feel in your heart when something's not right. No other woman has made me feel the way she does. You don't do this to the people that love you. I can live with the truth, but I can't live with lies. I'm lost. I feel like I'm by myself. This is not the way we're supposed to end. I will get to the truth. I know this isn't easy. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I knew something was going down, though, man. This has been a lot the whole time. I'm not messing that up. Oh, hell no! Here we go. I see you right there. I want a hard target search. Is this what you call Kenny Time with your guard? There he is. Get your hands on me! Get the camera off you. You need to be baptized! Calm down! Knock that off. I saw you on the side! This is the price of justice. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work, Whatever, just John. go. Go with him. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Would you love this? of you too. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. I'm Joey Greco and you're watching another awe-inspiring episode of Cheaters. Crystal Turner is a young woman struggling with her girlfriend's waning interest. Fed up with the icy demeanor, Crystal submits a plea for assistance from Cheaters. Crystal Turner age 34. An accountant worried that her girlfriend's behavior doesn't add up. I've had relationships with, with men and women and so far every single one of them, four, four are serious, um, and every one of them has, has cheated on me. And I, I'm, I'm not sure if I can take it if she, if she is too. About a year ago, things started to change. I noticed she was drawing a little bit more distant, and so, you know, I kind of just quietly looked into, well, I kind of quietly snooped into her business, and, you know, I found some emails from women and men that didn't make any sense, and every time I confronted her about it, you know, she got warm for, for a couple of days, and things were back to normal. And as it, you know, started happening more and more, I just, I finally had to talk to her and, and tell her that, you know, I wasn't gonna put up with it. I know her almost better than I know myself. And, and I know, I, I feel that there's someone else somewhere and I, I just don't know where, where. I don't know if it's a man or a woman and I'm not sure if she's ready for, you know, a strict female relationship. Um, but I, I do know that she's not herself and, and she's not treating me the way that she once did. I'm not gonna be treated like this anymore. I'm, I'm not gonna be that person sitting at home waiting, wondering if it was me who wasn't good enough or if she is, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Suspect's identity withheld, age 27. A medical rep accused of making private appointments with other admirers. Investigation day one. Getting the suspect's itinerary from Crystal, Cheaters agents catch up with the suspect at McCarran Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. P.I. spot the suspect, whose identity remains withheld, as she talks on her phone curbside while waiting for a ride. The suspect traverses a crosswalk and makes her way toward the short-term parking lot at the airport. On her way, an unknown female greets the suspect and they hug hello. The female then takes the suspect's bag and leads her to an awaiting pickup truck. After putting her suitcase up, the pair share one more tender embrace before getting underway. Making their way down the famous Las Vegas Strip, the pair arrive at a famous hotel and casino. Once inside, the suspect and her companion adjourn to their room, where they remain for the rest of the night. 
Investigation day two. Cheaters PIs are able to set up a temporary headquarters in the room across from the one shared by the suspect and companion. Pacing the halls, detectives spot the pair as they emerge and head out for the night. The suspect and her companion, whose identity remains withheld, make their way to a nearby casino. Once inside, two young men approach the friendly females. The guys are apparently playing their own game of chance, but they come up snake eyes. The female frolickers then proceed to the bar for drinks. After a few libations, the pair become a little frisky and begin to hug and kiss at the bar. Later, the now drunken dames make their way out of the casino and hammered hijinks ensue. Once in the safety of their hotel, the couple take advantage of a late night eatery. The sauced up suspect and her companion slur sweet nothings while stuffing their faces. With the alcohol now soaked up, the twosome retire to their room for the night. Investigation day three. Cheaters inspectors track the girls as they hustle through the city that never sleeps. Detectives follow them to a dance club. Once inside, PIs capture footage of the suspect and her companion getting down on the dance floor. The couple shake their money makers all night long till the break of dawn. As their eyes adjust to the rising sun, these two lovebirds happily make their way back to their hotel room. As the pair get intimate in the hallway, the suspect pretends to walk the straight and narrow in this heated phone call with Crystal. Hey, what's up? Hi, honey. How's Vegas? Oh, you know, been pretty busy. I'm so busy that you can't answer my phone calls? I've been trying to call you all day. What is going on over there? My phone has been off. Are you kidding me? Give me a break. I can't answer my phone when I'm in a conference. Mm, right. Like, seriously, I'm not out here having fun. I'm working here. I can't answer your phone. I can't be at your beck and call. You know what? This, whatever. I gotta go. Well, I guess I'll see you when you get back then. Whatever. With the pieces in place, Cheaters investigators prepare the evidence for Crystal. Coming up, the confrontation. With a cornucopia of evidence, Cheaters informs Crystal of the true nature of her relationship. With the proof just moments away, Crystal remains vigilant in her pursuit for the truth. Crystal, thanks for getting here as soon as you did. How was your flight? As good as can be expected, I guess. Yeah, I understand. Crystal, are you ready to take a look at the surveillance that our detectives have been able to compile locally? I think so. Through PC Pandora, our detectives were able to garner some information that allowed us to dispatch operatives in Vegas. That information gave us flight, arrival time, emails indicated to us that someone might be picking her up. And that's what led us to the airport on this evening. We did observe as she arrived. She's met by a young lady as she exits the airport. Our detective was able to follow them out towards the parking lot, and we can see that they're familiar with one another. As we left the parking lot, the detective lost track of them. We knew the hotel that they were staying at, so we had a pretty clear indication of where they might be going. Our detectives were able to catch up with them on the highway and followed them as they arrived oh, at this no. hotel. Now, they went directly to one of the rooms, so we know that this young lady had been there and had already checked in. Uh, they go into the room, and that's pretty much where we wrapped up our investigation for that evening. On this day, Crystal, the girls again head out for a night on the town. And there, we're able to see them going into another club. Once inside, they're dancing up a storm. There were a few occasions where they were approached by another gentleman. But they
they leave the club late that night and we see their frolicking continue on the strip until the early morning hours. They head back to the hotel. We were fortunate to catch them pausing for an enchanted moment in the hallway before they go into the room. The girls set out again this evening for a night on the town. Okay, we have a detective that's following him. Okay, I'm gonna check with him right now and see if we can get a, a beat on where exactly they are. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. They just got out of Bally's. They had a few drinks there, and they're walking on the street towards Paris. I uh, just, yeah, just keep me posted. All right, yeah, stay close. Bye. I see him right there. All right, here we go. Watch out, watch out. Where'd she go? Where's she? Can you hang for a second? You know what this is. Someone's here to see you. What the is the matter with you? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Coming up next, the conclusion. They're talking to a couple of guys in front of the fountains at the Paris. You know what this is? I'm sorry. When were you going to tell her? No, uh-uh, no, no. I'm sorry. Not gonna happen. I was gonna tell you, I promise I was gonna tell you. It's just, How long have you I was been gonna tell you when I got back, I was gonna come here. Did you, you know that she was living me? with someone? I'm sorry. Why, yeah, why can't you just, like... no, you can't, you can't just walk away. Stop. This has nothing to do with me. How can I was you, you can't even you. face me for five you. seconds? What's the matter with you? Nothing, I'm sorry. What does this tell you about that lady? She's Stop! freaking crazy. Just want to finish? You can have her. <laughs> I cannot do this. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. No, you need to get out of here for five minutes until I'm finished. Hey, ladies, come Stop. Please. It's all right. Can you own your actions for just a moment or two? Don't you, can't you, explain don't you think anything? Crystal deserves a little bit more than what you're giving her right now? Yeah, but I mean, there's, I, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, stuck. How about just the truth? Let's start with the truth. Can you at least be honest about your dishonesty? I mean, we haven't been happy for a long time, and she knows that. So. Then I why did you stay in the relationship? I was going to tell her when I got question? back, but she had to follow me, so. Well, why when you got back? What makes it okay when you got back, but you couldn't do it for the last year? I don't know. You owe me that. You need to stop and tell me why. Why? This stuff like this, you don't know. Why go through with this? Oh, and I have every reason to trust you, don't I? Yes, you do. She's well, here's a flash. If you weren't cheating, we wouldn't be here. So there wouldn't be any of this. Yourself. Any logic in that? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, that's intelligent. That's all you gotta say? You lead her away, you can't even stop. Ah! I said stop! She's right, you're crazy. Get out of my way Get for a minute, her. stop. No, no, this is, this is ridiculous. I don't know whether to be pissed off to stop and talk to me for five seconds. Jealous. Take your bitch and go shove her up. Come on now. Ladies, please. Why did you decide to do it? She's crazy. That's all she needs. That's all she wants. Just a little bit of truth. Unedited. If you can give her that. Is that unfair? Watch out, watch the car. She can't even stop running. Oh, she's over here. Come on. Let's get back to the hotel. We're not going to stop. All you have to do is give us five minutes. Five minutes of the truth. Watch out, guys. There's a cab right there. You got to face the dignity. My she thinks it's some big joke. It. I'm about to throw up on the sidewalk, and it's just some cheating. big freaking joke. You can't run from the cheating. You can't run from and the cheating. And you're still going to call me tomorrow and tell me you, you love me. You can't run from the cheating. And all this I bought 
for you? That car is still mine. If you're gonna cheat, you need to cheat to sell the grill like me, baby. I eat you up like a pistachio, baby. Pistachio. After the confrontation, Crystal takes some time to digest her reality. Coming up, Cheaters announces her game plan. But next, Cheaters presents Stephen Manning, a suspect coming forward to clear his mind and the air regarding the small matter of his infidelity. Stephen Manning, age 43. The former suspect walks us through his illicit experiences on Cheaters. At the moment when I saw my wife come out of the van, and just to look in her eyes and, you know, the, the redness of her eyes, just, I knew she was angry. You know, the, you know I didn't know what was, she, what was on her mind or what was she was thinking, what was she going to do. Never seen her, uh, you know, being in an outright mood before because we always been Christian type people. So at, at that moment, my feeling was, you know, I know I was wrong. I know I heard her, and I just know was, she was full of anger. What are you doing? I ain't doing nothing. What are you easy, doing? Easy, I'm easy, doing easy, easy. I'm not doing nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, what do you mean, what am I doing here? I mean, I'm not doing nothing. You I at the church hurt. house? You hugged up with her? You didn't see me hug up with anybody. Yes, I did. And then I saw the tape. Why are you bringing these people Why to are you here on the church ground with her? I'm locking up, and I'm coming home. Don't touch me. What, what don't, touch me. Ladies, ladies, don't touch ladies, me. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Don't touch ladies. me. Don't, you don't, whoa, seen this don't, don't touch me. I thought, I thought nothing was going on. Get your hands off me. Yeah, I think she was very dishonest with me because she could have asked me firsthand. I tried to talk to her before at home about things, and she always put me off. So, I mean, she should have came to me first and started, you know, asking me questions, and then we could have done this a different way. We didn't have to have cheaters or anybody to come follow me around and stuff like that. But now since you, you want to go with her, no. I got something yeah. for you. How about this? What you got for me? Now you need to quit tripping. What she got for you? I got this for y'all. What is whoa, that? Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. How about this? I got this for y'all. No, 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 no. Come on. What is that? What is that? Bitch, yeah. I'll knock your ass out. Yeah, after that night, I went went home and I gathered the rest of my things and. And I asked, told my wife that, you know, I want a divorce and uh, tried to talk to her a little bit and she was still irate. Then I called my friend and, you know, me and her kind of talked it out or whatever. At this point, I'm still, you know, with my friend and maybe we can make a better life between us. Look at this. Is this is what your daughter gave me. Yeah, this is my babies. You need to quit tripping and you need to go to the house where the kids is anyway. Tell you that's, what. That's, that's irrelevant. I mean, all that's I mean, you can burn that. That ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, I saw this episode too. Whoa. Nah, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You know, I got a whole new wardrobe in the Watch way. out. So you, you need to back up. You're close to it. You're burned too. That's all right. I got a whole, whole new, new one. She bought it. She bought it. it. Something that you don't do. For the relationship with my wife right now, I mean, she's still upset about what went on. But we're on a more of a talking basis now. You know, we have kids together. And, you know, we're going through the divorce is always a harder thing. But so, I mean, we just kind of taking it day by day to see can we get closer, you know, as a parent. After the confrontation, Crystal Turner did some serious soul searching and feels ready to put all the bad times behind her and start a new life. Crystal acknowledges that her relationship with the suspect was way beyond repair before this, but says she will always have a place in her heart for her. The suspect would only correspond with Cheater's producers through email. She wrote, this is my personal business and I wish it to remain private. This is a very hard time for me and I wish to be left in peace. Thank you for your concern. Please do not contact me again. The suspect's companion told Cheaters producers that she's happy the suspect is now single and wants the suspect to know that she'll always have a place to live if she's willing to move to Las Vegas.